What up, G Life? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. I'd highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. It's absolutely free, don't cost anything. Join the G Life now. What I wanted to talk about was actually a question I was asked by one of my subscribers, the homie Buzzsaw out of the city of commerce. You know, shout out to him and uh, his crew, uh, THB, um, his Italian crew. Uh, but he had a question, right? He said, um, if I ever heard or do gang, are gangsters known to record phone calls? Um, that if gang members, that if it's common for gangsters to be recording phone calls, right? Because he's never heard of that. And he thinks that that's kind of suspicious, right? Uh, but he asked, you know, shot me on the cash app and everything. So I appreciate that, my boy. You didn't have to, you know, you could have just asked, but, you know, I highly appreciate it. Um, you know, he's never heard of that, right? So he wanted to get my take on it. So here we go, you know. Here's my thoughts on the whole topic. It's an interesting one, right? Uh, um... To be honest with you, bro, like, even when you, when I was reading, I was like, like, what? What the hell? Like, I don't get it. You know, but, I mean, as far as I know, my boy, um, gangsters don't record phone calls, you know. Um, I don't know no homie that's ever recorded phone calls, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's, the only time I ever heard of people recording phone calls is uh, uh, 50 Cent, no? Um, you know, he recorded... I think the phone calls he had with a game and Young Buck or or some shit like that, right? But he's the only one that I ever heard record phone calls, and we already know, the, you know, backstory on Curtis, you know. Um, so, but yeah, gangsters don't record phone calls. That's weird, bro. That's that's really really weird. Um, a part that is weird, right? Because if someone's recording your conversations, right? Conversations meant to be in private, right? You know, the only reason I could think of why somebody would record a phone call is because they're working with law enforcement. You know, they're, you know, working with the cops. Or this if if this individual is recording a phone call, then that individual's a slimy um he's not a person that should be trusted. Here's why he's not a person that should be trusted. If you have a conversation, right, with somebody, this is your homeboy, your camarada, your boy, right? You see him as, you know, that's why you guys are talking and communicating, right? And he's recording your phone call, right? If you guys are camaradas, homeboys, you know, or whatever, cool with each other, and he's recording your phone calls, he doesn't see you the way you see him. He sees you as um, just another person he could use. You're, uh, you're, um... You know, you're just you're just uh, a pawn in the game of in his game, right? Because the reason why he's recording phone calls is just in case he needs leverage, just in case if anything was to ever happen between you guys, he has some uh, how can I say some insurance, some insurance policy. So he's already planning your guys' fall off, and and he's already planning you know for this thing to go south, and and just in case if, if anything was to ever happen, he at least has something to defend himself you know with, showing you know that showing that he's already preparing for the fall off. Why is he preparing for the fall off? That's a question people should be asking. Maybe he knows a fall off is gonna happen because fall offs always happen with him, right? Because of how he behaves, right? Because you know, a lot of people tend to, you know, leave or turn their back on this person, and it's for a reason, you know. It just can't be that everybody is 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 is, is two faced and everybody's this, this, and that. If you have thirty people and you're saying that all thirty of these people did you wrong, maybe it's not the people, maybe it's you, bro. At, at what time do we actually come and be like, okay, you know, Cyrus K, maybe it's not them, maybe it's me, right? If a person gets fired from one job and he says it's because the managers didn't like him, okay, believable. If he gets fired from two, all right, still possible. Three, eh, all right. Four, nah, come on, my boy, get it together. Ten, fifteen, nah, Cyrus K, my boy, it can't always be the job, bro. At one point, you have to come down, look in the mirrors, and say that it's you, bro. You know what I mean? It just can't always be everybody else now. You know, so that's the reason why they prepare because they're used to people, you know, doing this because, you know, this individual party is grimy and dirty and, and slimy, bro. You know, that's why people, you know, don't tolerate. That's why he needs this. He needs he needs some insurance policy to 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 uh, blackmail somebody. Right. 
oh, you better not say nothing about, you know, me or, or all the shit that I do. Or if not, I'm going to put this out there. You get what I'm saying? Because he knows he does a lot of shit that people don't see as righteous shit. They see it as, you know, that's some weird shit or foul shit or like, what kind of shit is that, bro? You know what I mean? And this is his way to keep people hush. Right? Or to get people to believe him. These are people that plan their moves, bro. They're planning ahead of time. But look how they're planning, bro. By blackmailing people, by having insurance, probably by recording, you know, phone calls of somebody when you guys are cool. Bro, then that individual never seen you guys as cool. Then you guys were never homies. You guys were never camaradas. You guys were never nothing, bro. If he already had a record and to have some leverage over you, then, you, then he never seen you as camaradas, homie. Then that fool was already planning this fall off since way before the fall off actually came. You get what I mean? And what kind of a righteous individual is that? That's not a righteous homie. You know? That's why I, I don't know no homie that records phone calls, bro. You know what I mean? The gaming, Young Buck said it best, you know, too, you know. Then, you know, when 50 Cent released those, you know, recordings on them, then he, they were like, well, he never seen us as, you know, homeboys then. You know, if he had to be, you know, doing that kind of shit. And because it's true, bro. He never seen you guys as dog. He just seen what he could get out of you. And now, when you guys can't provide nothing, he sees you as disposable. Because grimy people are like that, bro. 50 Cent is one of those grimy individuals who make up shit about people and all that, bro. Just to get the greed, the greedy people in this world, bro, that, that will do anything for money, bro. Throw anybody under the bus. They know no loyalty. They got no bond. They got no honor, bro. All they care about is money, willing to do whatever it takes, whether lie, throw their friends under the bus, manipulate, um, however, they, whatever they got to do, you know, however they got to, as far, however much they got to fake it, like that guy Iron Jacket, you know what I mean? The guy, you know, tattooed up and everything that was fraud as hell, you know what I mean? That was out there, you know, you know, exploiting women and, and you know, tricking people, que es un pinche... You know, uh, you know, uh, indigenous people, man, goofy ass. But you see the extreme that they go to getting tattooed, everything, bro. They'll go to that links to really con people, bro. You don't know a true con man, bro. He'll do anything for the bag, bro. You know what I mean? Because individuals like that are planning moves, bro. That's the reason why they have to record phone calls. So, yeah, that's not a real G, bro. Ain't no fucking gangster. I know ever recorded a phone call, bro. So to answer your question, no. Gangsters don't record phone calls, bro. You know what I mean? Gangsters don't even know how to do that shit, right? Why would the fuck would they do? Look, in this world, let me tell you something. In this world, in this world, palabra is everything. You know, I know people like to clown on that, but you know why they say palabra, right? Because in this in this world, all you have is your word, right? <laughs> no, this is not Scarface. No, legitly, all you have is your, your word because they could take everything from you, but what they can't strip you of is your word. So, you know, like incarceration, for example, right? You had nothing, right? So all people could go on is their word, right? Your word is everything. Your word is gold. And when you lose your word, when people find out you're lying or, 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 or manipulating or whatever, and you lose that credibility, your word now has no credibility, then you have absolutely nothing now to your name. Then you completely have lost everything because you don't even have your word because your word don't mean shit no more. So you can't even say that no more, bro. So you legitly now have nothing. At least these individuals may not have much, but at least they have their word, right? Because people could trust their word, right? Trust that what they say they're going to do, right? So they could still, you know, take that as, as credit. But these individuals that have no word, they completely have nothing, bro, because no one can, people can't even take your word for shit no more, bro. So you completely have nothing to offer. Then you truly have nothing. That's why word is everything. Palabra, that's why that means so much. Because that's all you truly have in this word, in this world. But overall, that's my breakdown. What do you guys think? Leave your opinions in the comments. Shadow, we out.